Hey, what's happening, YouTube? I hope you're having a fantastic day. I know I am. So we're going to make a really quick video today. But first, I'd like to shout out to a few people, uh, all my new subscribers, for one thing. And um, there are two in particular that have been following me since my very first video. This isn't a large community. There's only about 50 of us that follow me. Anyway, uh, I want to say thank you to uh, Cupbait who's been following me since my very first video, and uh, Rayboy, who has also been following me since my very first video. Both of them always comment and ask questions, which is great. It gives me, gives me something to do besides what I do here in my basement, my free time. And uh, there was a new subscriber. This person hasn't said or commented or anything. I just happened to notice it in an email. Uh, Dave Woods, hey, what's happening, man? Thanks for subscribing. Uh... Anyway, uh, if you'd like a shout out in the future, ask a question. Ask anytime you want. Anything you have a question about plants, uh, shrimp, or fish in general, uh, I will give you the best answer that I have due to my due diligence and hands-on experience. If it's something I don't know, I will always be honest and say, you know what, I'm unfamiliar with that. But if you give me a plant I don't know, guess what I'm going to be doing? Buying that plant and figuring it out. But today... We are going to talk about valicinaria and how to propagate it. Okay, so I have been growing, if you look back here, I have been growing a lot of it and uh, propagating it and putting it into a tank over here. Now, I'm going to show you, I know my drawing skills are amazing, so um, before we start signing any art contracts, let's uh, go through the propagation process. So here's your valicinaria, your adult. It's been growing all the way to the surface. Uh, first, let me tell you, whenever you get Valicinaria, if you order it, and I do have a video on how to plant it properly and what you should do, it takes Valicinaria 30 days uh, to acclimate to your tank. I know that seems like a really long time. It won't actually even melt that much, which I've noticed a lot of plants do, you know, almost the whole thing will melt. But with my experience with this, it, you're going to plant it and you'll hear, oh, this plant grows super fast and I'm going to have it everywhere. Well, for, I'm sorry to tell you this, for the first 30 days, it is literally going to do nothing. You're just going to have this, you may get it like already an adult or small, it doesn't matter. It goes into immediate shock and it takes it one month until it starts duplicating. Once that one month has passed, then you'll get to the part where you'll start to notice it's throwing off runners. Now runners are these, they'll look a lot different from this. They'll be really stiff like twigs that go like, you know, arch. They arch out almost like they're throwing a grenade. And, and it'll happen overnight. Like you'll wake up in the morning and you'll be like, what the heck is that? And then over there, you'll see this little baby. Okay, so to propagate it, man, it's super simple. So what I do is I snip it from the mother plant as close as I can here. I'll snip it right there, then remove this. You want to remove it while it's still small. If you wait until it gets all the way up here... You're going to have roots going all the way down your substrate, and all that substrate's going to come up. So if you plan on propagating it and putting it in other tanks, do it while it's tiny like this, and you've got roots that are like a half an inch or an inch long before it starts creating a mess. So you want to snip it right here, and I'm going to do it right now in front of you and show you exactly what to do and then how to put it into your new tank. So let me grab my scissors. And my handy dandy tweezers. So I've got some ready to go. I'm gonna take a snippy snip, snippy long stockings right here. All right, which one of you wants to go first? Who threw out the longest runner? You know what? I'm going to go with this bro right here. He's invading someone else's territory. Dustin. Oh, I know. Thank you. I know. Thank you. All right. So here it is. 
So let me show you. So this is the one that I'm propagating. So now you see the, this is the regular valve. And then this was the runner that was connected to the other plant. Now when I start propagating, what I do is I, I wait to see when it starts invading other plants because it, it will steal from everything. So if you see it throw a runner right next to a plant that you really like, don't let it start doing its thing around that plant or it's just it'll take over start stealing all of its nutrients so here we are you know it, it had, and it has some like it, it clings on a dirt really good uh, so now we don't need this remainder of a runner anymore it'll make new ones and uh, I'm gonna prove it to you right now because I've been propagating the hell out of this stuff and putting it over there all right snip and yes, just because I didn't go to a store and buy this or order it and bring it here, plants are going to go through a shock regardless. So just because it's only going to take me, you know, a couple minutes to get it from here to over there, doesn't mean I should change anything. I sh should still snip the tips, okay, every time. If you see my videos, I always talk about snipping the tips and why you should do that with, with almost every plant. Um, there are a few that are exception, but anyway, uh, if you haven't seen my first video on how to plant this, because right now we're talking about propagating, just scroll through, it's in my playlist, you'll see aquatic plants and all plethoras of plants. So now let's turn this camera this way, and I'm going to show you the easy way to do this. Let's see if I can get you a good view. You know, maybe I should have thought about this ahead of time before I started doing this. All right, so here's the other tank. As you can see, there's a bunch over there. I've been pulling some from the tank you just saw, moving it over here, and look at how well it's doing. It's doing fantastic. You know why? Because we're doing it right. That's why. So uh, I actually don't take my tweezers when I'm putting it in. I know that seems weird. Um, I just, for me, it's easier just to take the plant and um, you'll notice it'll have a pretty one kind of pretty stiff root that you know if you kind of make like a I've talked about this before too make a little spear out of it just stick it down and then either with the other hand here anyway, I'm just going to show you so we'll move on over here all right so let's see where should this puppy go? actually you know what I'll give you a close-up of this All right. Hey, how's it going? All right. So let's see if I can get you a good view of what I'm doing here. I'm just going to pick a spot. Use my thumb and I'm pushing the tips of the root straight down. Now with my other fingers, I'm bringing the dirt around it. And look at all this ballasting area I got. Right here, this is actually Dwarf Training Sword. Here, I'm going to be, that I'm touching, I'm having an awkward view. But all of this ballasting area back here, I have been propagating. So, um, some new fish in there as well. We'll talk about those. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. And if you didn't, I think you're following the wrong guy. We talk about plants. We talk about fish. We talk about shrimp. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Share it. Do whatever the heck you want. I don't care. Leave a comment. Ask some questions. We'll see you next time.